Hello there. So I've been I've been asked to to sh tell some of my clients and uh, followers how I'm in, how I'm editing the portraits that I take from people where I'm traveling, and I decided that I should do that. And um, yeah, I will start from the back. I will start with this young Nepali kid that I've taken portrait of him in um, the Himalayas in January 2017 and I will do as fast as I can to make the video short okay so the picture that is already cropped what I am always doing is lowering the highlights fully and then increasing the shadows increasing the whites also and then lowering the blacks I'm a little bit I think this is too much maybe yeah okay it's enough the exposure always and the clarity just a little bit on the full on the whole image I'm lowering the saturation let's go to minus 20 19 24 whatever and then just a little bit of vibrance because here I have very strong purple tones so I don't want them to to be a distraction and then I'm going to increase the sharpness and uh, yeah enable the profile corrections from the lenses that I was using at the time, it was uh, 50, mill mill 50 millimeters 1.4, the Canon one. What I would do next is now pay attention more on the face. You see that his skin is very, very rough of the cold weather, so I want to emphasize that. So what I'm always doing is create a separate layer just on the face. And uh, hiring up the exposure in that part so that so the face can be poking from the whole image. Then I would, yeah, it's already from the previous image that I edited, it's kind of saved. I will increase the clarity and the sharpness and the saturation so the color is coming back maybe even a little bit more the shadows lowering the highlights you don't like those you don't want those white parts on the face and then yeah, we click done and what I will do now is increase the red maybe it's too much increase the red and the orange so his skin is back and the face is poking the next step that I would do I want his eyes to to be poking from the whole image I'm planning to get the, the new iPad Pro 2018 this month and to try all these things with the, the new Mac Pencil. Okay, so here I would, yeah, maybe a little bit increase the contrast and increase the whites and the exposure. Yeah, I think that's enough. Then just duplicate the layer, place it on the other eye. Okay, yeah, I think that's enough. Okay, so we already see the difference. Maybe the eyes can be a little bit more poking. Let's see. A 
Okay, they are poking now, definitely. Uh, to my clients and followers who know that I'm a big fan of the work of Steve McCurry and I'm paying close attention to his way of editing photographs and I'm trying to implement some of his techniques into mine, I've noticed that he is always working on the um, eyelashes, like darkening the eyelashes and the, the, all the edges around the, the white part of the eyes. So I'm going to higher up the contrast lower the blacks I don't want the clarity and the sharpness to make the skin more crispy than it is already so we are darkening these parts here okay maybe this is too much just erase that part and also here Okay, buddy. Yeah, you can even darken a little bit his iris. If it's too much, oh, sorry. You always lower the saturation on this one. You maybe uh, maybe lower the blacks a little bit. That could be make a big difference. And what I'm always doing is darkening the eyebrows. Okay. I'm also the next thing that I'm doing is doing is uh, darkening the shadows around the nose. You can see already the difference and also the lips. Especially on portraits where the subject has dark lips or mm, crying like they're with, you can see the blood and um, they're not smooth so yeah, I want to make more uh, to emphasize those things but I'm gonna take a new brush make a new layer not so dark maybe more bright and increase the clarity and the sharpness of this one you don't want to increase the, the saturation on, on the lips because then they're gonna be very much red Let's see Okay, I think he's pretty cool. Now let's see. Okay, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Now the next step, I would like to. I will. I will take a new brush, also darkening. Lowering the blacks, the clarity maybe even higher, lower the sharpness, and I want to make these. These edges. To separate more the hat from his head. Maybe that's too much. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty too much. Mm. Let's see now. Maybe lower the we don't need the exposure to be high. Okay, yeah, that makes pretty cool image. Now, the next thing, again with the brush, is I want to emphasize his cracked skin. So, the black should be normal, maybe a little bit of contrast, a little bit of exposure, maybe even a little bit more the shadow to be up, and then, again, we are playing clarity and sharpness. You don't need the saturation. So, now we are just working on his cracked skin. Try not to make it over sharpened. You don't you want still to have the realistic look on the image. Okay. Maybe a little bit delete this part here. Mm. Let's see now. 
sorry, my laptop is kind of slow. I definitely need uh, the new one. Okay, this is taking too long. So I think that we should increase the the sharpness of on his right cheek without exposure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, buddy. Now the next step. Again, this video is going to be very long. Mm. Now, the next step that I want to do is saturate and darken the background. It is it's not distracting or anything, just I want to make it even more not important. But first, I'm going to hire up the green. So I want to have some green here and there. Okay, so what I'm doing is taking another brush and um, lowering the saturation even more, lowering the clarity, lowering the shadows, lowering everything, and lowering the sharpness. We don't like that part to be sharp. Maybe we can go in a little bit of minus and start, start painting. Start brushing that parts. Okay. Okay. I think this is pretty, pretty good now. Um, I would maybe increase a little bit, brighten up his face, not that much, we need to lower it a little bit, so lower the exposure, to um, lower the shadows, oh. and uh, of course the clarity, the sharpness, and the saturation. So it just, um, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's enough. Yeah, I don't like, now just the finesse, I would maybe lower the purple and the magenta. We don't need those colors so much. Yeah, not to forget his his hand. Just a little bit with the brush, higher saturation, whites and shadows, clarity, with more saturation, sharpness, and voila. Yes, I think that's enough. And now the last thing that I want to do, and I do it on almost every picture is adding grain. I love grain. I love how it gives more life to the to the image. Okay, so this is our image before and after. It's a big big difference. Eyes are more poking. The rough skin is more emphasized. Lively colors, and we kept the realistic look. Okay, that's it for my first video. If you have any questions, send them in the comments. Bye bye.